Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Thailand and welcome to Warm Bin Weekends. This evening we're going to check in with our third and final bin, bin 3. Um, as I said in the previous two videos, we started these guys back up 10 days ago with a half kilo of um, African Nightcrawlers. Now, the previous two bins, bin 1 looked very unpopulated, so I did end up bringing some worms over from bin 2 into bin 1. Bin 3 was about equal with bin 2 as far as its actual population when it started off 10 days ago. So I'm hoping to see something very similar in there, but these bins have been very dry. Um, in bin three in particular, I think I may have had some die off. I saw some on the top surface of the bin that looked like they may have dried out. Hopefully that isn't a sign of things to come, but only one way to find out and that's to look at it. So let's go take a look at bin three. All right, bin three. Now, one of the things I'm seeing, and this was the one that probably dried out the most. See that? That is a dead worm. Um, this is one of the drawbacks to not using enough moisture and also kind of keeping them restricted into the bin. But it's not a sign of things to come. I guess, much like bins one and two, that they are either still right here, yep, where I started them off most likely haven't moved a whole lot from there. Yeah. Hard to see them, but they are here. Mixed in with a lot of this uh, bedding material. There we go. A little bit uh, larger grouping. So let's go ahead and get some moisture on the scene and uh, let them get back to doing their thing. Real dry. Um, someone had asked me before with regards to castings if castings dry out, do they lose all of their microbial activity? No, they don't, but they do lose most of it. Um, so that's not a it's not to say that there is none. But is it optimal? No, obviously not. So the fresher the casting, the more microbes. Um, but once you start to dampen things down again and life starts to populate in the area again, it doesn't take long for this to be repopulated with the type of microbes that the worms like. So that's why even after 10 days, I think they probably haven't moved a lot. So hopefully this will help encourage that a little bit and then they can just kind of self-regulate from there which they tend to do very well, that I have noticed. These guys. I'm actually putting this group in bin one. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, dry, 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 dry. probably wondering, did you just put all the worms in bin one that you have in this bin? No. They're still around. They're just in different spots. Quite a bit of activity in here wiggling around. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but the moisture is just going to help get them where they want to be to be able to do their thing without me having to intervene as much. Probably not going to feed for at least another week, at least. Maybe, uh, maybe longer. I'm going to let the worms decide. I'm not going to put a, a timeline on it. We'll see how they respond to everything and we'll go from there. 
the uh, moisture is uh, the key in the beginning here. Even though, again, the African Nightcrawler really likes it dry, uh, this is absolutely necessary in the early going to help them get established. But uh, the person that was asking me about castings drying out, back when I was doing my compost tea regime video for the garden, and I explained to it then because they saw the castings I was using from that video and they said, those look really dry. I said, yeah, they are, but just watch. And if you saw that video and you saw how robust that tea became, even without unsalted molasses, I ended up using um, FPJ, very old FPJ, and it worked. I just should have harvested the tea after about somewhere between 12 and 24 hours because it was really just at the microbial peak the next morning of the first day and then from there it just it went downhill so yeah lesson learned but it was a test it was an experiment it worked really well my garden received a lot of good feeding in the way of compost teas this year and a good majority of it had to do because of the castings that we were able to harvest from what our friends here did yeah, I'm getting activity now up on the sides of the bins but once they hit that soap that's up here on the uh, rim, the real pill right back in and won't get out. That's it. That is bin three. And that is the check-in with the three bins for this week. Now, I know I used to uh, mark these videos by week such and such. I'm just not going to do that anymore. I've got each individual bin with its own playlist. I'm just going to list them out in there. And obviously, you can see the dates on the video when you go and check it out. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody you know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really love it if you'd consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon if you would so that you can be alerted to when I upload new content. Listen, wherever you are in this world today or tonight, you take care. Bye for now.